Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss with you how to make your bell covers or instrument covers for each of your instruments. What we're going to do is we'll go through each instrument one by one and give you a quick overview of what you can do. Much like we have to wear a mask in school, we also have to mask up our instruments, meaning we have to have some kind of cover around the bell or parts of the different parts of the instrument to contain the aerosols that are created um, while playing our instruments. So let's start with flute. Flute players, now you won't have to have a modified mask. So what we'll do with your instrument is you actually take it and insert it inside your mask on the side and you'll play like this. So it's not ideal. Um, there were different theories on um, how it, it's the safest way to do this. And after a study was conducted, um, this was the best way they, they could come up with how to help contain those aerosols because most of those that we produce with the flute, of course, come from our mouthpiece. So we want to keep that contained as much as possible inside the mask. The other part of the instrument you want to have a cover for is the foot. Lots of air comes out of the end of the instrument, so what we do is I just got a piece of fabric um, cut into a circle or circular shape, and we'll put it on the end of the instrument, and you can get a rubber band and seal it up with a rubber band at the end of the instrument, and that will help contain um, any, any of the air that's coming out from the instrument. For the clarinets, now the clarinets are, we have a lot of open holes, and this is where most of the sound is coming out, especially these upper holes. So as we close them off with our finger, of course, they get closed down and then the air moves down the instrument, which of course drops the pitch. But we'll want to keep that covered. Now there are a couple of options for this. Now this is, the clarinet's probably the, one of the toughest times because they'll have to have um, an instrument cover or a clarinet bag, they're called, um, to put on there. You can get those. Um, I know the local music stores are scrambling and trying to get everything they can that we're going to need, not just us, but everyone in the Fargo-Moorhead area as far as instruments go and coverings. Um, but there are a couple options, just like you can make your homemade mask. Um, if you're still waiting to have a mask or a bag made for your, or get one for your instrument, you can make one. Um, <clears throat> we were experimenting here at home, and one of the things we came up with was to get an old uh, pillowcase and <clears throat> you slice that pillowcase and cover your instrument from up here down around the bell so it kind of encases the instrument and if you put your hands in place you would cut little slots in the side of the bag or the pillowcase to fit your hands inside now you won't be able to see your instrument of course um, but that's that's okay it's good practice um, but you want to make those openings just wide enough so you can get your arm and your hand inside there. Again, don't make it too wide because again, we're trying to contain as much of that um, from blowing too far out from our from our instrument. Um, I'll put links in the video below um, as far as you know, like Eckroth Schmidt and then a couple other manufacturers that I found that are creating these covers. Or so if I already created these covers, um, you can go out and, and purchase them too. Um, I should mention that all of these covers and um, bell covers, instrument covers, will need to be in place before we can play our instruments in class, in the building itself. Saxophonist, what you'll need to get is just a stretchable cover also for your bell. Um, you won't have to worry about the other part of the instrument. Those, you know, your keys are, have covers so that will help um, with, with the containment of the aerosols there. Um, so again, you can use the nylon, um, the pantyhose if you want, or a fabric cover. Or again, you can go to the link and see about the stretchable covers or contact Eckroth or Schmidt and see what they have available for your instrument. It's the brass instruments, and we just want to cover the bells. So again, I've been coming up with different ways to try to do that. One of the, in the study that was conducted for instrument safety this past summer, um, they said that you can use, if you can't get a bell cover or an instrument cover, you can get a, a pair of uh, nylon pantyhose and you can cut those. You have to have a rating of at least 80 that's on the back of the box. So not knowing anything about pantyhose, um, I purchased some and as you can see on my box it says 20. Well we'd want that rating to be all the way over here to the darker, um, thicker pantyhose more I think you would wear probably in the winter. Um, so they have a little bit thicker and they want them, you know, we'd double that over. Again you can just cut out the amount of you need, put it over your bell, and again secure it with a rubber band. Now of course the larger instruments are going to need larger and more um, fabric. So um, pantyhose won't always work for that. So another thing that I 
have come across is some, some old fabric at home um, or an old t-shirt would work um, and you just cut it to a cut you know cut the area out that you would need to cover your bell completely and again the, the securing part of it is the part we still need to work on so of course trying to get a rubber band around um, a baritone bell um, could be a little challenging trombones trumpets pretty easy to do French horns could be a little more difficult so you have to get a pretty big rubber band and keep doing that so that or a piece of elastic um, that you can wrap around and secure that in place again we're going to be experimenting and trying out new things as we go um, if anyone comes up with a great idea we'll get word out and say hey this works really well let's let's go with this uh, in the future so again I'll put links in the in the description below for Eckroth and Schmidt and then another link for uh, manufacturer of bell covers. I, like I said, I know the, instrument, the music stores have been working very hard trying to find all these supplies um, for us instrumentalists to be ready to go. Um, but like everything else, everything seems to be coming down the wire. Everyone's kind of been waiting and working and trying to figure everything out and now it's time to go. So we're gonna have to go with what we have, uh, what's best right now. And then uh, if there's something else comes along, it's even better. We'll implement and start using that too. If you have any questions, please send me an email um, on this. I know this is the most comp one of the most complicated parts that we have to deal with as far as being able to play. Again, but these instrument covers and bell covers need to be in place before we can actually play any sounds inside the school. At home, you can play as much as you want, um, but in school we have to have these covers and masks in place um, to help keep everyone healthy and safe. If you have any questions, please send me an email. See ya.